Steve Jobs is a master at this, letting the anticipation build and then the big announcement. And we'd like to show it to you today for the first time. And we call it the iPad. The iPad, with its 9.7-inch touch screen and a starting price of $4.99, will let users surf the web, do email, watch video, organize photos, listen to music, read newspapers, magazines, and books, and games. Steve Jobs talks about people being able to hold the Internet in their hand, and he says anybody who's used an iPhone or an iPod Touch knows how to use this device already. Major publications from the New York Times to Sports Illustrated are developing new media applications for the iPad. Will uh, people yeah, have to pay for this content? Absolutely. It's valuable. This is very valuable content. And the possibilities, you know, are almost endless. It's, it's intuitive, and our stuff just looks so great. But as tech reviewers at today's unveiling twittered about the iPad, it was getting mixed reviews. The software that I saw, I wish I'd... I expected a little more, frankly. I expected a little more innovation from a, a company that's been so creative with user interfaces over the years. The reason At Abilene Christian work. University in Texas, where students already do classwork on iPhones, the school now plans to embrace the iPad. The true electronic book is going to be as transformational a moment for culture as the printed book uh, when Gutenberg first introduced it. We hope you love the iPad as much as we do. Thank and you. while everybody may not love it as much as Steve Jobs, there are expected to be long lines when it hits stores in two months. George Lewis, NBC News, San Francisco.